So sometimes my son will ask, can we make something out in the shop? And he'll want to make like an old truck or a bulldozer. And so these are two of the things we've made together. The first one we made was the truck. And then the second one we made was the bulldozer. And bulldozer blade goes up and down. Truck rolls. And these are actually pretty basic. They're a little bit rough. Um, yeah, the cab's not perfectly straight and whatever else. But they're fun, easy projects to make with a kid. And my son certainly gets a kick out of making them. And the great thing about these is if something breaks, you can fix it because you made it. So you have all the pieces. So this one, yeah. So this is a good story about this one. He wanted to make an old truck. And I didn't have a hole saw to make these wheels, because these wheels are made with a hole saw. I just had, you know, just blocks of wood. And, well, I had a hole saw maybe, but I couldn't find it. So, in the past, my son would have been very mad. Oh, it needs wheels, and, we don't, and just have a fit about not having the right stuff. But then he came up with the idea all on his own that it's an old truck that's going to be stuck in the woods or whatever else, because he likes watching those sort of videos on YouTube. So he decided that old trucks don't need to have wheels because some of the ones that are stuck and broken down don't have wheels. And so we can add the wheels later. We can build the main cab and then fix it up and add the wheels. So that was his idea. He wanted a spare tire on the side. So, yeah. And then second we made this bulldozer. And this is modeled after the bulldozer my my dad has, so his Opa. Um, it's got a rack in the back where the kids ride in there, and then we ride up here. It's got the levers um, and the blades in the front. And this is just a two by four and a couple of things nailed on the sides. The blade is a little complicated, but it's really not too hard to get, get done. Um, that's the bottom of it, and the other side. The blade, this, there's a slot there and a nail. So, then it comes off, and it's a little lumpy, and not quite exactly to the right proportions, but it, it works. And like I said, this is pretty easy to make. He and I made this together. I mean, I did most of it, but, um, but he was able to help pound in some of the nails, pick out what sort of do design things. He's like, no, we need a blade, and we need it to go up and down. So the blade is just a piece of pine, and it's hollowed out with one of my carving gouges. He was very adamant that it needed a uh, smokestack or a exhaust pipe, so I had to put that on. So I think I'm going to make another one of these. I don't know if I should make a bulldozer or a truck. Um, so a quick story about what Robin likes to build in the shop. So we built these, and these were obviously successes. But when he was little, littler, he would sometimes ask me to build, like, completely unreasonable things. Like, I mean, building a toy wooden bulldozer might be unreasonable for some people, but for me, I'm pretty good at building stuff, so I can make something like this. But he wanted to build an airplane. So I started off building a little airplane, like, you know, with a wingspan about as long as this, you know, foot and a half long or so but he was no that wasn't big enough because he wanted to build an airplane that we could go fly in and so I had to build it big enough that we could kind of convince him that we could fly in it and he wanted it done in an afternoon so I figured that you know eventually I'd love to build an airplane with my son but it's going to take more than an afternoon to build an airplane I don't think even Mike Patey could build an airplane in an afternoon so Anyhow, so let's make another bulldozer. Um, I'm going to keep away from the knots in this board. There's knots on either end, so I'm going to try to keep away from those. But I'm going to just cut there. That's going to be where the back is. I'm going to go along here. And then I bump up, and this is where the hood goes. And then the hood curves down there, and that's the core of our hood. So it's pretty simple, straight across, a notch, and the front, the curve there. Oh yeah, I need the seat. 
Um, I cut the seat in here too. So the seat goes not quite as tall as the hood. And then down, and then across, and down again. So there's the seat. The hood. Straighter there. Uh, let's bring this down a little bit further here for, for the seat. So I'm just sort of doing it by what I think will look good. So now I'm going to get the jigsaw and cut that out. No, oh, this isn't the line I want to use. Now that I've got it securely attached to my bench with my holdfast, I'm going to quickly cut out, um, cut the shape out. So first I'm going to do the hood. Now we've got the two track spacers, and these just go on parallel to the bottom and flush with the back. Just got to red nail them on. Uh, yeah. You can put a little spot of glue behind them if you want them to really stay. I'll just put in an extra couple of nails. The other side. To do the tracks. I know this board is two inches wide so I'm gonna do set my compass at one inch and draw an arc. Now we need them both to be the same length, so I'm going to cut this in half and flip it over and cut both at the same time. So, let's see, what's half of this? This guy is... Twenty inches long, so at ten inches... Roughly... Zip that off. Now I line up the ends. Now these are a bit lumpy on the ends. You could clean it up and make it much nicer. But you have to keep in mind that if you're building this with a five-year-old, they don't have that large of an attention span. So you just get it lined up pretty close. And then nail that on. Now we do the other side. If you want to get fancy, you can use a square to line up the two 
tracks. There, then we just tack it here. And then we'll line up the other side. And there, bulldozer started. Now we need the exhaust pipe. We pick where we want the exhaust. Actually, off to one side, just slightly, approximately in the middle. A little, maybe a little further forward. Put that there. Put on your glue of choice. Now we need the handles to drive it with. So we got our two little finish nails and we'll one in there and one in there. Now we've got a bulldozer. Doesn't have a blade on the front yet. If you want to see how the blade gets made or how I made the blade um, subscribe and I'll show you how to do that in the next video but that's <laughs> really pretty basic good toy fun project to do with your kid well, my kids inside doing something else right now but we made the other one with him so yeah